Welcome to High Infidelity. The best cheating videos on YouTube. If you enjoy this content, remember to subscribe and turn on notifications. Now let's get into the video. Husband of 11 years was with another woman while I delivered our 34-week-old baby on 6-5 who is in the NICU. Three kids together. I just found out. For years, Miso has been a distant companion. We had two children at home, and I was expecting our third. It's been a difficult pregnancy. He refused to come to the hospital every time I was hospitalized throughout this pregnancy. I drove myself to the ER and then back home. I drove myself to all of my doctor's visits. On Tuesday of last week at 34 weeks pregnant, I was hospitalized for high blood pressure but released after 24 hours and advised to return for testing the following evening. Husband had intended to leave town. I begged him not to leave, but he did. I was hospitalized on Wednesday and I told him nothing. I contacted him on Thursday and told him he needed to come home because they were going to have to deliver the baby and I was terribly sick. He was golfing. He said that he will go that evening. He said he fell slept for five hours on the way back at a petrol station. Yet he should have been at the hospital by 1 a.m. still no hubby on Friday. He arrived around two hours before the kid was delivered at 1.38 p.m. and departed shortly thereafter. They whisked my precious little child away to the NICU right away, which was terrible. While I was in the hospital, I saw so maybe twice. He came twice. That's all. He's never been a particularly supportive spouse, so although I was wounded, I didn't think much of it since I was in such disbelief at all that had happened. I was in the NICU on Sunday morning and couldn't reach him. I checked the monitor and my 18-month-old was still in her bed. He slept in and left her in her cot for three hours. I had to summon the help of a neighbor to rouse him awake. He was discharged from the hospital at 12.30 a.m., but did not get home until about 3 a.m. that night. So I wanted to be discharged from the hospital early so that I could care for my children at home. He departed shortly. After I arrived home that first night to visit the baby in the NICU, or so he said. I awoke at 3 a.m. There is no spouse. No text, no phone call. When I finally got a touch of him, he said he slept a little in his vehicle at the hospital and then went to grab some dinner. It was the same every night. Getting home around 3 a.m. or 4 a.m., I'm not answering texts. During the day, I am not at home. Before the NICU, I shower and work out. I really didn't want to accept there was anything wrong. Thursday morning, he was still sleeping, and when I walked in to attempt to wake him up, I saw his phone was open. I'm not sure what made me do it. I'd never glanced at his phone before, but it was all there. Text messages between him and her. They were saying, I love you and he was calling her baby. He misses her and can't wait to see her. He complains about me asking him to pick up my medications for my kidney ailment or how I had him perform errands for me. I woke him up and asked whether he was with her at night when he claimed to be in the NICU and he responded yes. I asked him whether he was going to keep seeing her and he didn't respond. He stated he's been unhappy for the past eight years of our 11-year marriage and it's all my fault. I didn't show him how much I loved him, I didn't have enough with him, and I don't accept responsibility or apologize. As a result, I asked him to leave. He gathered his belongings. I'm assuming he'll remain with her. I took him to couples therapy because I was so miserable and wanted to make things better. But how could he never express how unhappy he was all those times? I want a companion. I needed someone to be collaborative and compassionate to me, and I was silenced for years but I was willing to put up with it since the thought of severing my family was too agonizing to bear. I've met her before. She was aware of everything that was going on. What type of person cheats on their pregnant wife when she is ill and in labor or uses? The NICU as a cover story to spend the night with someone, and what kind of lady is comfortable with it? She has four little children. She lives less than two miles away. My heart is broken to pieces. I was well aware that he had never been a decent husband or father, but this was something I didn't want to happen. I tell myself that in the long run he is doing me a favor, but I'm in a state of complete desperation. I can't stop myself from weeping. The thought of telling our eight-year-old fills me with dread and sadness, and I can't seem to get my brain around all of the unknowns at this point. My kid is being released from the neonatal intensive care unit 
Niku, today. He weighs just five pounds. He was born two months early. I'm going to be a single mother to three children, and I'm afraid of the prospect. My emotional state wouldn't allow me to handle it well at the moment. I wasn't prepared for having a child since I imagined I'd have more time. Now I'm rushing around to buy diapers and onesies and I have no idea what I'm doing. So he wants to come to the hospital with me and load him into my car and I'm dreading the prospect. Despite the fact that I don't want to see him, I'm afraid that if we don't get along, he'll fight me for the children. On Tuesday, I'll have a consultation with a divorce attorney. I'm trying to find out how to tell my oldest about the situation, but I don't think I can sit and listen to him tell me how everything is my fault. He's going and it's all my fault if he wants to go to therapy with me. I'm not sure what to say. Currently, I'm experiencing high levels of tension and concern, and it seems as if I'm going to die. My birthday is on Wednesday and I'll be 34 years old at the time of writing this. I have no relatives in the state where I now live. I have no idea who I am anymore. The one bright light is that I am in a comfortable financial position. I've been employed at the same company for 10 years and hold a respectable position. I was the one who bought our house, both names are on it, but I have documentation proving the funds came from me. We have always kept our finances separate since he is not very good with money. I am hoping that my IRA and savings will stay mine. He does not have any retirement money or savings but I'm certain that the attorneys will discover where he's been hiding his money. What the hell is going on in my life? Even if you know it's the right thing to do, how can you cope with the tremendously deep, gut-wrenching sorrow that comes in waves as a result of doing what's right? In my thoughts, I keep reliving those filthy messages, and I wish there was a way for me to make them stop. Story 2. Is my girlfriend cheating or is this in my head? I've been getting the impression that my male 22 Girlfriends, female 22. Heart is no longer in it for me for the last few months. Normally, I wouldn't write a blog post about anything like this, but what happened last night made me feel a bit uncomfortable. Despite my young age, I have a strong urge, which I suppose is usual for someone of my generation. I don't ask for it all of the time, but there are times when I tell her things like, I'm having you for dinner tonight, and similar statements. Not today. I'm not really feeling it, and other such have been thrown my way lately when I've attempted attempts. As previously said, we don't have a lot of together, so when things like this occur, it disturbs me a bit. It started to have a psychological effect on me when she said no, and it caused me to begin to doubt my own self-image as a result of it. My mind begins to race with questions such as do I turn her on, and does she find me attractive, these kinds of questions drive me nuts at times, and I'm not sure why. As each other's first significant other, we made the decision early on in our relationship that would not be a primary driving force in our relationship. But I wasn't expecting to be in such a bad mood. When? It comes to my girlfriend, it's not about the, she's the lommel and I intend to marry her when the time comes. Because we're young and have no other obligations, I'm concerned that we'll grow up to be one of those couples that only have once a month on full moons if we continue to behave in this manner. Then as a motivating factor in your relationship, I can already hear someone saying, I just want it to be semi-constant or maybe a bit more consistent at times when I need it to be a little more consistent. In regards to the infidelity, as previously said, I did not write a blog post about it, but last night, after returning from a small gathering of friends, we pulled up outside her house and started making out in the driveway. Things started to heat up, so I began sliding my hands up and down her body to cool her off. She went away from me and inside her house after saying farewell in a rushed manner. This was a rare occurrence for us since we've been dating for more than two years. Given that I'm not sure whether or not someone else is gratifying her and that there aren't any leftovers for me to pick up, I'm looking for assistance.